No, I'm the mechanic today. No, it'll take four days. All right, guys, so today I installed the Garrett Turbo onto the Fiesta ST. Uh, it's the 2860. And I've ran this turbo on my first Fiesta ST. And it's pretty fun. It's a little laggy, but yeah, it's pretty fun. <laughs> what I do is bring the wiper blade up like this. Just kind of just wiggle it back and forth until it's free. I said that focusing is junk. Come on, that shot on iPhone. That shot on iPhone by Luke Bennett. Luke Bennett. Cole Bennett. Lyrical lemonade. I didn't see you didn't tell him about that. What'd you just do there? Come on. What am I gonna do? Hold their hands through everything? Alright, engine cover. Ooh, I broke it. Engine covers off. And I put all my tools right here because it's plastic and it's it's not like the older cars where you have the metal and clear coated engine bays and stuff. Yes, but then he also closes the hood when he's done and forgets <laughs> that he has tools there. Yeah, that does happen with the cow. Make sure to check. But it's not going to be stock anymore. <laughs> if I just loosen the clamp, it'll come off easy. There it goes. Right, let me show him. So yeah, there's just the... You can use a flathead or I think an eight millimeter right there and it comes out. Yeah. I've already done the downpipe on this car, so it should come out easy. I have ARP studs in the turbo, so it shouldn't be frozen or anything, but a big common problem is snapping the downpipe bolts. So spray them down with penetrating oil and work them in and out and hopefully they don't snap. Yeah, I only put three heat shield bolts in out of five. I was just saving myself some time. <laughs> oh, and they're going to be tight. Ah. But not if you put your big man strength in them. What also has to come off is these coolant lines. What I do is I unbolt it from right here and I bend it back. And this one, the bolt goes onto the cylinder head down there. It's kind of hard to get to. But I unbolt it from there and take it off from here and bend it back. And then I pull the heat shield up and out. Uh, the lines are pretty easy to bend and you can bend them back in place if you ever reuse them or something. So it's not too big of a deal. This is my Cerakoted manifold that's going on. Here's my Cerakoted downpipe that's going on. And manifold. Very nice. So as you can see, I got a wheel stud in the coolant um, hose that goes to this side of the turbo. On this side... Um, I just took it off and bent it back and it had a little bit leak out, but it's not bad now But as you can see I bent them back a good bit lost a little bit of coolant and I just pulled the heat shield up without damaging it so now I can do the manifold bolts and what I normally do is take the manifold and turbo off together uh, So I'm gonna do all the manifold bolts I do as much as I can up top and then I go under and like complete it and then I got to do the oil feed which you can see right there i believe it's an eight millimeter and you just take that bolt out and then pry on it a little bit or pull it out and that's the oil feed and i'll show you the oil return when i get underneath so i got all the nuts off but one the oil feed line is off as well and the downpipe is basically off i just need to do the bottom one so now i'm going to jack up the car and do the rest of the stuff from the bottom which is only a few other little things how long have we been at this? Like 20, 30 minutes maybe? <laughs> You're what? joking. Got the downpipe unbolted from underneath. Now I unbolted it from the cat back too. Now I'm taking off the cat back because I'm putting the stock one back on. But you need to take out the front section so you can pull the downpipe backwards and out. Um, if you're replacing the downpipe. If you're not, you can kind of like push it to the side out of the way. But I'm pulling mine completely out. So I'm removing the exhaust. I'm making progress. The intercooler piping, I used the flathead, and then it's hooked on right here with 13 millimeters. Take the nuts off, and then I use the flathead right there. Now I took that out. 
and ooh, cool into my eye. So now I just need to do turbo drain, which is a torx bit of some sort. I forget which one. And then, yeah, then it's ready to pull off. Action. Oh, All right, so oh, the, oh no. Don't get him in He's there. He's looking good. So the drain is unhooked from the bottom. So now it's ready to come out. I just have to take that one nut off the last nut on the manifold and then wiggle it out of here. Oh, got to bend these back. I see him wiggle. Come on. Let me see you wiggle, wiggle, and fold. I like it when you jiggle, jiggle. Come on, don't you know singing's not free? They gotta pay extra for that. Alexander <laughs> McScrooge? What's his name? What? What's Scrooge's name? Ebenezer. Ebenezer Scrooge? Of course. Much. <clears throat> oh, lost it. Lost it. Come on, FOMO Co. FOMO Co. I'm breaking the. Guys, don't do it this way. Take this up frame off like a normal person. I think you're like out, aren't you? Close. You got chair in me. You're the one that wanted the chair. You said, please put the chair in me. Tearing up my harness. If you're doing this, move your harness out of the way. There. He's leaking. He's leaking. It's as easy as one, two, three. Being a mean YouTuber, not telling the fans what he's doing. Ooh, sorry, fans. I'm adding the adapter for my turbo. Oh, no. Yeah, it's a bit nippy. Oh my god, my fingers are falling off. Come on, viewers, it's not that bad. He's being a He's wearing gloves. He gets it. He's a big crane rigger. Because it's nippy. Here's the down part I'm going with. Uh, 2J high flow. Oh. <laughs> it's a 2J, definitely high flow cat. EPA um, emissions compliable. So don't worry about that. And then I just Cerakoted a manifold because I want to test out my coatings, see how um, long they last and everything without flaking off and stuff. So I did that so I can actually test it on the car. And I got the turbo right here. Got the coolant lines on and the, the oil feed already came on it. I just have to swap over. Ooh. I just have to swap over the oil drain tube and make sure you put it facing the correct way. And I'm gonna use a new um, gasket, and I'm also going to put just a touch of RTV around the circle so it doesn't leak, because I've had problems with these leaking. Um, just these Fiesta turbos in general with this gasket, even a new gasket, clean surface, tightened down, still leaked, but I just put a little, very light layer of RTV because you don't want it blocking the drain at all. So I just, put, I just do that, it's personal preference. The drain's on now and turbo's ready to go in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the turbo, place it in there, and then um, have it just sitting like on the subframe, and then I'll mount the manifold up, and then I'll bring the turbo up and mount it with the V-band. So that way, I'm not trying to shove a huge, well, not huge, but a lot bigger than that one. That one was already a pain to get out altogether. I should have taken it apart. Uh, take it apart, don't be like me, but yeah so i'm gonna split these up in two uh, i've done it this way before and it's a lot easier to get everything in there so you can see the turbo sitting right here i brought it down to the left hand side of the engine and it was a bigger gap so it's sitting down there now i can bolt on the manifold and then from underneath put this in place and then I'm pretty much home free after that all right chat i've been at it for a little bit now this isn't a 30 minute install but um Turbo's in there. Turbo's in there. That's all I can say right now. 
I am going to hook up the coolant lines. Here, I'll do one on camera. Boom. He's done. Time. I did some work on camera. How about that? Have you ever thought, since this thing is such a big rig right now, that you just take the whole cab off like you're working on a truck? I don't think that's possible. That's tight. Don't want to over torque that. I put it deep in there so coolant wouldn't drip on me, but coolant was dripping on me every second. Oh God, there goes all my coolant. Now, gotta do vacuum lines, downpipe intake. <laughs> and you know, reassemble the entire car. So I'm doing three starts with throttle all the way down so I can prime the oil system or prime the turbo because this one hasn't been ran in a while. Now let's start it. I'm gonna go check for leaks. All right, so underneath here, I got the lower intercooler piping on. My clamps barely fit. I have to run them all the way to the end. I'll probably get different ones to put them on, but these are just what I had in my garage. So I did that there. Uh, the boost solenoid's on on the other side. It was a bit tricky to put on, but um, what I do is put the line that goes on the back of this coupler, put that one on first, and then do the other ones. Uh, this is capped off, because I will show you my blow off valve in a minute got the downpipe connected to the exhaust I just have to put the muffler section on and connect that and then the exhaust will be ready to go that's why it was so loud all right up top here um, I made this coupler work for my uh, intake piping and I got a heat shield on here the one that Sarah coated so that's on I route the rear O2 sensor behind these lines so it just stays away from the downpipe and then I haven't plugged it in yet because it's got ice in there. It might have actually should be able to be plugged in now, but it had ice. Uh, the car warmed up for a little bit, so it thawed out. And then the primary O2, that one just goes right there. And yeah, it's, it's not going to hit the downpipe or anything. And then this coolant line, I have zip tied right here to a brake line. So it'll stay away from the downpipe as well. So here's the blow off valve I'm going with one-handed unboxing boom turbo smart uh, V port because it goes right where the symposer would go um, so I'm gonna go grab my symposer hose and then just put that like that you just gotta run some vacuum tube through a map tap and you're good to go all right so here's the symposer I'm just taking this rubber piece off and I wanna put it on here and then attach it back to the intercooler piping right here. So that's the port for the Symposer, if you did not know. And yeah, now I got it installed. I used the worm gear down there because using these style clamps right there is really tricky to get to. So I just did the worm gear. So now I just need to run a vacuum line from right here to the map sensor, which I have a map tap that has one nipple coming out of it so you can attach a vacuum line. All right, so here it is with the map tap installed. I've got the vacuum line running to the blow-off valve and that's installed, that's good. So that's basically the whole turbo install. Uh, I'm sure I left out a few bits and pieces of it. Comment below if you need any help with anything and I can try to give my advice on it. Um, what I'm going to do now is drop the car on the floor and then I'm going to begin the fuel system install, which is going to be a different video. That one will hopefully be a lot shorter. Uh, we'll see now, but thank you all for watching. See you in the next one. My eyes, tell me a tale, then you see the road. I'm to my soul, and tell me the signs. Whenever the smoke clear out of my face, and my picture perfect, I do I look fried. All of that green and yellow that drip in your eyes is telling. Tell you demise, I'm with to my side. The push back the ceiling, and push back the feeling, lie to the side. I replay them nice. And